I welcome all Laravel fans to the Catco channel. Today we are waiting for a video not entirely about Laravel, but also about an important component of development, namely the IDE, and in my opinion, PHP Storm is better in this segment. I often see in the comments the question of what theme I use. Many do not even know that I use PHP Storm because of the minimalism. Therefore, today I will tell you about my settings, key map, live templates and other features that I use to simplify my development. Well, fingers to the start, let's go. Friends, a small digression so that you do not have any questions. My goal with setting up PHP Storm was to create a comfortable environment for screen sharing, one that's nice to look at and doesn't overwhelm. And at first, such minimalism was unusual for me in everyday work, but over time it gave me big advantages and a little later in this video I will talk about them. This is what my PHP Storm looks like, and now let's take a look at how it looks initially. I specifically for the video returned everything to its default state. Pay attention to how many unnecessary elements and any garbage on the screen. Now we will step by step come to my config, and after this visual component we will consider the chips. Well, by the way, at least these can become a guide for those who decide to run their own development channel. But the rest will be taught to use key maps and live templates. Friends, also pay attention that I use English in the editor. If you have difficulties with this, then you can also switch to English during setup and then return to your language. So friends, let's go to improve the appearance. And for starters, we will remove what I generally never use anyway. This is this panel. The lower status panel. And here is where we have breadcrumbs and this whole toolbar. Let's remove it. I don't use it because I use keymap and we'll talk about later. Appearance section and here we first remove the tool window bar, just the left side. Further navigation on top and a status bar. In the end, such a trifle but already looks much better. Friends, I think you often heard that developers do not use their mouse. Yes, in many cases this is true, for example I'm one of them. And I don't even have such a device. I use keyboard shortcut, key maps. And whether or not to use the mouse is up to you, but you must learn how to use the search and quickly call it. In PHP Storm, the default is to double click on shift. As a result, we open the search, look for the file we need and immediately move to it. But we do not know which directory it is located especially in the conditions that we removed the navigation. Fixing this is extremely simple. You need to click on the gear here and select this item. Always select open file so that we always have the selected file open. As a result, we are working with this file and immediately opened it here. If we go, let's say, to some migration file, there and immediately and in the directory hierarchy we also move to this file. I think the way I move the cursor around the screen makes you think that I'm a lie about the mouse. But the point is not to completely not use it, but to minimize its influence. I don't have a mouse, but I use a touchpad on the laptop, especially now while we are in the setup process. Then, friends, let's install a theme that you like. You haven't written often, this is not at the same time. We'll work with the search again and see what it is looking for not only in the files but everywhere, even in the settings. Let's write plugins here and go to such a section. Here in the plugins we will look for the not theme. Here we have it and let's install it. Great, already recognizable from the videos. Then, friends, let's adjust the font and font size. When I first started making videos on the channel, I used this font size and I got a lot of angry messages in the comments. But over time I corrected the misunderstanding. 
Let's set up this moment now. Go back to the settings, font. I use the default font JetBrains Mona. Just let's choose the size 15 and line hash. Let it be 14. Apply. We'll see that it has already become better with only one exception. The directory tree still looks extremely small. Let's fix this moment too. Go to this section appearance, here appearance, and here we choose that we have the essence of the node theme. You need to use the JetBrains monofont and also choose let it be like the 15. Great. Apply. OK. And see what as directories have also changed in size. So you will agree much better. OK. Let's continue cleaning from garbage. Remove these two dividing lines. This line from the bottom of the breadcrumbs and browsers that constantly interfere with us. But with breadcrumbs, everything is simple here. Right-click breadcrumbs and don't show. Great. Then we go back to the settings in the web browsers tools section. And here we just uncheck all browsers and check the box here. We apply. OK. We see that we no longer have a hint with browsers. Go back. Go to the editor section. The color scheme is general. Here in the code section, we find the separator method and disable it here as well. We apply, we look at what happened and we see that the separators for the methods have disappeared. We return to the settings, steel editor, general settings, view, and here we uncheck this one. We apply it and see that the separator on the right has also disappeared. It already looks even cooler. Let's continue to hide the excess and now let's remove these pros and cons to hide expand blocks. At least I don't need it, I use keymap. Minus comments, plus comments, it's such more convenient for me. And this is extra noise for me. Let's remove this moment. Go to the settings. Register the holding. Go to the folding code section and uncheck the box here. We apply and see that we don't have these interface elements now. Then we can also remove the line numbers. In many cases we don't need them, but if you suddenly need and need to look at which line of the code we need, then this can also be turned on faster. Let's go over here, write the show line and turn it off. The same thing if suddenly we have an error, we need to quickly look at the line number. Then again, we prescribe the show line and turn it on. Further friends, this moment is optional. Here on top of the tab where we are located, you can also remove them. In some cases, I don't need them. I navigate through the files using the search and also move back. That's here it is already at your discretion, but I will show you how it is done and open the search again. Write tab placement and install it nowhere. If you need it, we'll return it. Next. Friends, let's talk about an important aspect of development. Namely, the code style and the IDE helps us not to think about it at all. And adjust. Transform for us. Let's go to the settings once again. Look for code style. PHP. And select the ready set from PSR12 and apply. After that, we can, through the code, reformat the code, or through the key map. I have this command option, L. Quickly format the code under PSR12, but let's also set auto formatting. For this, we go to Tools, Actions, it is safe, and here we indicate that we reformat the code. When saving and optimizing. Auto imports are those use imports that we do not use will be automatically deleted. This will help us as well. Let's apply. Click OK. And after that our code will adjust itself. If we specify such if here then we format the code. Then it is formatted based on PSR12 standards. Yes, friends, I missed a small moment. Here in actions it is safe. Let's fall into the settings section and 
check the box here and set that every 10 seconds the IDE will automatically format our code. Friends, as for plugins, I don't really use anything. Let's move on. Since by default in the new version of PHP Storm and so most of them are enabled, let's say if we go through view, then we already have it installed and connected. If within Laravel, then we also have a blade also connected. If we fail in Marketplace, then here I install the support env file. Support and env files and many people really like the Laravel IDE. You can try it for a fee. It also simplifies the life of a Laravel developer. Yes, friends, I also use small aliases for convenience and so as not to write PHP Artisan every time. We are a little away from the PHP Storm IDE, but we are still talking about the convenience of development. Let's say instead of the artisan stove I just use hey. There, p test with to quickly launch virtual server and so on. If we go through here, we will see that instead of php artisan there, I just write a make controller. Control test. It's very convenient. You can customize such areas for yourself within your operating system. Now, let's talk about key maps, about keyboard shortcuts. For us, this is especially important now. When we have everything hidden and we need to open the necessary sections by keyboard shortcuts. As for example, I have one command that is a hierarchy with directories and everything else for now not configured since I reset everyone to default settings. Let's go to the settings section of the key map. Here we will look for a terminal. For example, we need to open the terminal using a combination of any keys. Here we have it. For example, this moment does not suit me. Let's add two commands. Then let there be one shift command. OK. And you can delete F12. Apply project with directories. We have one command by default. OK. And now I open the directories and shift commands through one command. I open one if a terminal is required. And along those lines, you can customize the keyboard shortcut for you to open, say, a database tool with remote server access, get comments, and so on. That's just the fact that I set up PHP Storm in such minimalism for you for the convenience of watching videos. At first, it all seemed inconvenient to me, but I quickly got used to the key map and forgiving the development of the moment. Now, let's talk about templates for files. What is it about? Look, when we create, say, a PHP class, let's try a new PHP class, let there be a test. It doesn't matter, PHP Storm immediately adds the initial skeleton to us. And we can also control it. For example, for myself, I added the use of strict typing to my classes so that I would be immediately scolded and I would not make mistakes with types. I also recommend you and also add final to the class by default to prohibit inheritance. Where necessary, I will remove manually. Let's see how this is done in PHP Storm and then you can customize the files for yourself or add new templates. Let's go to the settings. This is the editor. File and code templates section. And here we have all the templates. Here we can select the PHP class we just talked about. Here I changed it a little. By default it looked like this. I added final and then we see that we also have a header for files connected from above. Let's take a look at it. It's in includes, here it's PHP file header and here I've already added strong typing. That's how easy you can change any template files or add your own. Friends, and finally I saved the most interesting, namely life templates that make life mega easier. And in some moments they even teach us how to write code correctly. For example, I have a live template for tests with which I quickly create a method in a test class. 
Look, I just write the test keyword. The IDE tells me that this is a test method. Now we just have to write what exactly we are testing here. Method name. And further, already in the body of the method, I added hints. I added so that you can find a similar application for yourself. These comments may tell you that first we set up everything for the tests here, then we execute the logic, and then we already check the data. At the first stages of working with tests, this is an extremely interesting thing. Let's also move on. Let's say in migration and for example, I very often have to create link tables for belongs too many links. Sometimes it really infuriates me. But with the help of live templates I write belongs too many and immediately generate all the code to create a table. Here I simply specify the name of the table and then specify the keys. The IDE even highlights where and what I need to enter next or say add such a foreign ID. We also write a foreign ID and the skeleton template is immediately substituted for us. Where we only need to enter the key already. Let's see how it works. How these file templates are made in order to learn how to create your own. To do this, let's once again open the settings. Go to the editors, live templates section and here we have templates for various extensions. I created a group for Laravel and here I added the templates that I just showed you. Say the template test. To add a new one, you need to click the plus sign. Then we will have such a window where we add the template itself here. In the case, in the case of tests, this is our entire method. But we indicate the dynamic part that we will set in the process as a change. It looks like this starts with a dollar and ends with a dollar and the name of the variable nothing spatial what else can we do here we can adjust these changes a little go to edit variables and here as for example in my case indicate what we enter should be in the snake case or the default value and other conditions all you need and then indicate here exactly where they will work for us in PHP files inside classes. Also, if for example we take belongs to many and see what we have here, then here we have chosen that these live templates will be called in our methods. And if we look at say belongs to many my life template, then we have everything the same here. Ready-made code. Only we have added several variables for the table for the first key and for the second key. If we go into editing variables, then here we also have the conditions that we have a table with, a snake case. And the first second argument is a link to some class. Friends, this is how a non-standard video turned out. You can take some of this into service. Something will expand your thinking in development. At least file templates and live templates deserve your attention. And I think who are not familiar with this before has already set off to create their own templates and simplify their development process. That's all. As usual, I say thank you to everyone who just or before clicked a like. I hug everyone who subscribed to the channel, I shake hands with those who also added to our telegram chat and I say thank you to everyone for watching. The learning process is endless and it's wonderful. We will see you in the next videos on the CutGo channel.